ACC Network Basketball presented by Food Lion, and we are literally just underway. Boston College taking on the defending champion, NC State. Did lose Emma Guy, Georgia Pinot, Taylor Ortlep. But this is a very talented Boston College team, especially when they're hitting threes. And that's a nice pass on the inside for NC State to get at least a Kinane going. Going from long range. Look out. Now was on Elisa Kunane, her first. That reigns through for Michaela Dickens. Jones, a little bit too strong. Soul gets the rebound for BC as they look to push it up court. And it's banked in. So far, so good. Off the Crutchfield miss, there's Soul being guarded by Kayla Jones and a long three that is put in. So that's a couple right now for Dickens. Threes. Yes, this is a Boston College team that can get it going from long range. Michaela Dickens. Shooting 61% in the first half. And now taking on this defending champion, ACC champ. Once again with the green light with the miss, with the rebound chased down. Second chance. Taking advantage of another three. He hit a big three against South Carolina late in that game. Uh, that was important in taking down the number one team in the country. But there's so many really good players on this NC State squad. That BC going to have to rely heavily on their jump shooting today. And Kunane misfired over Quanco the first time, but not the second time. Inside Kunane over Quanco. And you just talked about it. Get to the line, young lady, and she will do that. Time out is get the ball to Lisa Kunane. And... The Wolf Pack is a team that is very disciplined. NC State, once down by seven, has cut the lead to three. Nice cut very, to the basket. Very nice cut by Bat. You see network of the ESPN app. Blanco gets her own miss, puts up the little hook, and that goes in. And that's what you really want to see from a freshman. Back rimmed it. Nice work by bats on the board to keep it alive. State's defense that Westmore wants to get better. South Carolina, Coastal Carolina, and Elon, their last three opponents, none of them got to 28% from the floor. Well, and you're right, BC should be taking advantage of Kinane being on the bench, but instead they can't get a basket in the second quarter until right now. It's in guarding Boston College off of the balance. It's been hard for them to get a clean catch, to get a piece of the paint. Really, everything's been hard from Boston College since that moment. And here's another three for the Wolfpack. Boston College has scored only two points in this quarter. And now a chance for a three-point play. Bats in their offensive sets and really get the best look every possession. And they have not taken advantage of Kunane being on the bench with the two personal fouls. going to create an easier shot for her in that, in that situation. Now there's Taylor with the ball, shoots it, and hits it. It's the scene of the action between BC and unbeaten and fourth-ranked NC State. Boy. Boston College has seen their lead disappear with Kunane. Now with 10. And it is a one-point ball game. Swartz from the outside, and that's much needed. Back, and she's been on the bench with those two fouls since the first quarter, so they haven't had her to really facilitate offense, and she's done a nice job of that this season. And there's Dickens, exhausted. She has had to pick up the slack for Westmore's group with Kinane in that foul trouble. And then right down the close starts for his team all season and then you go on the road in the ACC a hungry Boston College squad that was disappointed in their performance at Georgia Tech. Shots for the Eagles. NC State shot only 30% from the floor 25% from three or sheet again. And it's that's a 10 where, point lead. That's really where Marnell Gerard can have an impact. I mean she hits some shots which is good to see because she'll need to hit some three. Richard Freshman missed all of last year after tearing her Achilles. Good board by Soul to keep things going. Right there except finish as she tried to lay it in with her left hand after a nice move. And the floater for Dickens. Fell to them in the semifinals of the AC tur ACC tournament last year. Raina Perez gets the bucket. Perez had been very quiet offensively in the first half. He's me a small lineup in for Boston College. 
with Bats playing on the interior with Taylor Soul. Beautiful pass. Cut down, but nobody accounts for Swartz, who misses, gets her own rebound, follows, and a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Uh, finished with 11 wins in the ACC, with, which is a new program record. They were picked to finish 13th, ended up tied for fourth, so some great things. Eighth giveaway for BC, but they take it right back, and it's Taylor Soul coast to coast. Season, but really struggling against Boston College. BC has hit eight threes. And then a nice, nice another nice play by Gerard. Brown Turner a while to get going versus Elon. She seems to be thinking so much on offense. Nice dish. NC State tried to trap there, but Jakia Brown Turner was unable to contain the dribble of Dickens, who just beats her to the rack. And speaking of beat to the rack, Perez. Gerard with the ball in her hands, gets it over to Dickens, who dribbled right into a double team. Dickens can't now get Swartz any Now Swartz is going to shoot and score. Yeah, good job by them and a good job by Quanco on that offensive board to keep it with BC. And then fire away from the outside. Time they move the ball out of it and get a big three-point. Kunane, nice work, puts it up with her offhand. Kunane, there you go. Kunane with the block on the Gerard try. Per game for the pack. Another three buried. It's a Dickensian kind of afternoon. Nine points, four rebounds. They're continuing to go to her here, but it's just the rest of this NC State team has to continue to stay active, and there's Jones. Went to several Final Fours in the 90s with Coach Vanderveer. Oh, yeah, that coaching tree for Tara Vanderveer is years long. They're from NC State. Kayla Ivey, number two, the true freshman point guard, unable to corral the ball. Kunane just working. Boy. To a 65-57 lead, Melissa Kunane just hit two free throws. Taylor Soul back in the game, and she's found by Swartz. So all the way around, Kunane able to corral it. Kayla Jones, just so nice. She gets the roll. You see starting to cool off offensively while well, NC State continues to attack. And it's only a six-point lead on another steal. BC in trouble as Jones is called for the charge. All the way across court. Crutchfield to Jones. And she buries the three goes to the bench again as uh, whenever BC goes on defense she is subbed out playing with the four fouls Brown Turner all the way in right after the new year in Raleigh but what a comeback for NC State and a heartbreaking loss for Boston College